Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm making this video response to Charlie is so cool likes video, his very old video, Dear Future Charlie. I thought it was a really great idea, and so it's a little 18th birthday present to myself, because I just turned 18. So I'm going to make a Dear Future Rachel video, from my 18-year-old self to my 28-year-old self. So I won't be able to watch this video again until my 28th birthday, when I will watch it again and it'll be like a little time capsule thing. I thought it was a really cool idea so that's why I'm doing it now. Alright, here we go. Hi Rachel. First of all, happy birthday. 28. This is a big one. I'm sure you remember 17 well and everything that you went through that year, junior year, and how emotional your 18th birthday was and everything that was going on. Um, and you can still dance to Dancing Queen. Just remember that. I hope that you still do dance to it too. And I don't know if you remember, you probably do because this was a really intense dream that I had a long time ago. That dream about my 28th birthday. If you're not sure which dream I'm talking about, then it's the one in which you were stranded on an island or something for 10 years and then suddenly you were thrown back into your old life at the age of 28. Nothing that you had wanted to accomplish by then was accomplished. So that was a pretty symbolic dream of how important this age was to us. I know where I want you to be at this point in your life right now, but if you're not there where I thought you were going to be at 28 for any reason, just channel your 18 year old self. That's what I'm here for. And remember all the big plans and dreams that you had to accomplish by this age. And I know you can do it. I believe in you. And if you've taken a different path, then great. Just remember that whatever you're doing, I want you to be happy, and I know that you want you to be happy, so just hold on to that. And I know that you can do whatever you set your mind to and what we both dreamed for you. Hopefully you've gone to Moore Park. By my calculations, you should be close to getting your PhD by now. Um, remember how much you wanted that. Remember all the things that you've done in your life that have been really hard, and if you've gotten off track of the PhD, then I really think that you should go back to it and remind yourself that you can do this as well. It'll be hard, but it'll be so worth it. It's going to be like essential for our perfect future. As a psychologist, as an animal behaviorist, remember how much you wanted it and keep going after it because you can do it. I know that you can write that dissertation. Maybe you're working on it right now. Um, I bet you've got a good topic if you are. And just keep working on it and remember everything that you've wanted. Hopefully you've been writing in your journal more and maybe you've started um, on one of your books already. That would be awesome. I would, I'm so proud of you if you've already started that and if you haven't then go back and read your journal entries and remember how much you wanted to write those books and and just start it just do it because I know you can I don't know if I should remind you but you're almost 30 but you're still very young and you've got a lot of life to live and I'm sure you've accomplished a lot by now and if you haven't accomplished everything that you thought that you would have or that you wanted to by this age just remember that you have time and just Keep smiling and live every day to the fullest. Seriously, just live day to day. Take life as it comes and all that good stuff. And you you can get through anything. You're still young. You still have a lot of time for everything that you want to do. I really hope that you haven't cut your hair off by now. Um, if you have, then just remember that hair grows. Um, remember how much you liked this hairstyle. It's been your favorite one so far. And grow it out again. And get something similar. Um, I would appreciate it. Uh, really, I hope that you don't have any kids. But if you do, then don't let them watch this. And I'm sure that you'll get through it. Um, just go day to day and they'll grow up someday. <laughs> Were you able to travel Europe? I really hope that you accomplished that dream. Um, and I hope that it was amazing for you. Hey, did you ever get on Survivor? I mean, that would have been pretty awesome. Hopefully you applied to some game shows if you didn't make it on any of them. <laughs> I would like to remind you of two things. The first one being your senior quote, which was, 
things turn out best for those who make the best of the way things turn out. The second one being that 40 minute inspirational speech that you delivered to your economics class not too long ago from now. Just channel that energy that you were feeling at that moment and what drove you to make that speech. And remember that you might have touched some lives and you were certainly feeling great at that moment. And the night before, um, I wanted to read you the, the Facebook post that I posted to remind you of this mindset and this um, just this way of thinking that we had at 18. And I want you to rechannel that if you've lost it at all. But I'm sure you haven't. I'm sure that you're doing great. And so here you go, just a little reminder of um, back in the day. <laughs> the power to make your dreams come true lies within you. You live in the land of opportunities. You can achieve anything through hard work and determination. If you don't love something, then don't do it. You have the amazing privilege of being able to change the course of your life at any moment that you choose. Just do it. Take those words to heart and remember how much they meant to you at 18. So just remember those dreams that you had and hold on to them and work on accomplishing them. Try your hardest. Live every day of your life for those dreams. Whatever you're doing in life, if it's not what I had exactly planned, I just hope that you're happy, and I hope that you're doing great in college now, or with your career, and I hope that you're having fun doing it and loving every day that you're living. And if you're not, then you have the amazing privilege of being able to change the course of your life at any moment that you choose. So just remember that, and get back on track if you've gotten off of it. Just remember that time heals all wounds, this too shall pass. Um, all that good stuff if you're going through any hard times. And I hope that you're having a wonderful 28th birthday. Remember that I love you, I believe in you, and you should believe in yourself too. I realize that you have 10 more years under your belt than I do now, so you might be watching this like, oh, my young, naive, 18-year-old self trying to give me advice or whatever but please take all my advice to heart and don't cast it off as being young and naive and idealistic go back and read your journal entries and remember how passionate you were and how terrified you were at the thought of one day getting older and becoming less passionate watch this video and take my advice and and keep your passion for your dreams and for your life and for your ideals and for your writing because they're extremely important to me and I know that they are important to you too even if it's deep down. Just remember to always keep an open mind and think about all the adults in your life um, who were role models for me, the negative and the positive role models. And remember all the things about adulthood that you didn't want to fulfill. Like becoming so set in your ways and becoming closed-minded. Um, please, please, please always keep an open mind and, and keep your passion and keep your ideals. And stay kind and keep smiling. And use every day that you have on this earth to fulfill your dreams and your passions and you know as Gandhi said be the change that you wish to see in the world I hope that you are still the same person and if you've wandered off into adulthood maybe um, then that's another reason that I'm making this video is to hopefully bring you back to this mindset a little bit don't cast it off like oh how young and naive or whatever but really 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 take my words to heart because I'm you and if I was this way once then a part of you must still be this way as well which is a good thing a part of me wants to say that I wouldn't be making this video for you unless a part of me doubted you in some way but just realize that 
I'm saying all these things, not because I doubted you, but because I'm holding you accountable to your dreams. So I'm reminding you of your young, passionate self and all the dreams that you had, and I'm holding you accountable to them. Please fulfill them for the betterment of both of our futures. Remember that old age doesn't begin until one starts replacing dreams with regrets. So you are only as old as you allow yourself to be. You can keep your mind young with all of your passions and dreams. So just hold on to them and your ideals will be timeless. Especially if you get them written down in a book, then they'll really be timeless. And they might have meaning to someone else someday too. So wow, I just realized it's not only the fact that you are now 10 years older, but also everyone around you. Um, so Cassidy, oh my gosh, Cassidy's gonna be 18, my age, um, by the time you're watching this. That's just unthinkable, it's crazy. And Daddy will be 71, and... Elizabeth and Lyle will be in their own lives, I'm sure. Remember how close you were with them, and if you guys have um, lost closeness at all, then regain it. Um, call them today, both of them, and just let them know that you're thinking about them, and you love them very, very much. Wow, Lyle's pregnant right now, so her baby will be nine years old. By the time you're watching this, that's amazing. Almost Cassidy's age now, so I hope that you're really involved in their lives, and I hope everything's going well for them and for Elizabeth. I have two people that would like to see you. Well, not people per se. Hi, Penny. Hi. It's Penny, your long-lost best friend. Hi, Penny. Did you miss her? I bet you miss her. There you go, Penny. You're so precious. Hi. Oh, look at that. She's ready to go to sleep. On the bed with you. Don't be camera shy. Can you see Penny? Hey, Penny. Hi. And you're Dilly. probably dead now by the time you're watching this but they're alive and well in this video and in your heart and in your mind and I hope that you have um, your own dogs by now maybe um, and they love you I just hope that you have an amazing day and an amazing year and that all of our dreams are coming true for you and most importantly that you're living each day to the fullest now i'm gonna go take some of my own advice that i've given you today and apply it to my life right now to make life better for you then hopefully bye